What's up guys, Michael here with Marine Detail Supply and today we are putting Level R and Restructure to the test. A lot of people have questions about which heavy cut compound they should go with. Today we're going to crack that myth. Follow along with today's video. A lot of people have questions about if they should use Level R or Restructure. Both really great uh, heavy cut compounds. Let me tell you a little bit about the difference between the two. Level R is our extra heavy cut. This is going to be used primarily on really heavy oxidation. Um, any sort of like deep scratches that you create with your sandy marks with a thousand, Level R is going to take that out with Breeze. Now that's not to say its counterpart restructure is also a really good Heavy cut shouldn't be used in situations where you have heavy oxidation, but it's not going to cut out sandy marks as well. So today I've kind of set up a testing panel here. I've had this at my paint shop. It's got overspray on it. It's oxidized. It's nasty. We're going to do level R, level R on this side, restructure on this side, just compound on this panel, level R, this one restructure. And then on this right side, we're going to do restructure with a thousand Aberlon. And on this, uh, right, your right side is going to be a thousand level R. And then we'll take a look under uh, the lighting and show you kind of the differences between the two. Both really great heavy cut compounds, but different situations for each one. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so you guys could hopefully see these two panels. We've got level R that we're just going to use the compound with a double sided wood pad. And we're going to use on this side a thousand Avalon and then level R. Let's see if I can show you guys the difference between the sandy marks. Let's see. There you go. So let's start out with level R on this side. Put a generous amount. You want to make sure you are putting enough compound on the surface. And when you're heavy cut compounding, you want to make sure you go nice, nice and slow. Let that compound cut. You can hear it. You can see how easy it cuts. I mean, you can see the overspray right here. I'll try to get it. I'll try to get a close up when I'm done. So that is just level R. You can see the overspray outline, and you see where we kind of stuck in one spot for a little bit longer, obviously, in that middle section. And uh, I'm gonna do the the rest of this panel, and then I'll move to a thousand Aberlon. And then we're, we are going to look at all these closer under the lighting. So let's move over to this panel, 1000 Avalon. And this is what we call damp sanding. So we're going to wet our disc, wet the panel a little bit. And we're also on speed one. We're going to go nice and even. Going to wet sand all this. Overlapping 50%. Making sure we cut all that. And then go ahead and wipe this off. Microfiber. You can see now we got no more overspray left on the surface you can see these sandy marks throughout that we've put in now as opposed to this is just compound you can see all the swirls from the abrasive in there now we're going to go ahead and and buff this out so let's take some level r put some product on the pad and now we'll buff this out So 
So the biggest thing with level R is that it's going to cut down those thousand grit sandy marks that we created without having to jump to 2000. You'll just have to run over and make sure that you you compound consistently to remove those scratches. Otherwise, you'll have to run over that area again. Obviously, wet sanding is gonna be better than not wet sanding with the amount of overspray and oxidation we had built up on the surface. You can see no sandy marks in this. I mean, it's like glass. Here's what the panel looked like before on the side that we, we haven't touched. Here's what level R without wet sanding. And here's wet sanding. All right, so we just did level R without sanding in this spot. And then with sanding in this spot, you can see the difference I showed you guys in the light on why Level R does a little bit better with removing sanding marks. Um, it's got a little bit more abrasive in it, so it cuts down those sanding marks a lot quicker. Um, those are its pros. Its cons, it, dry, it dries out quickly, um, especially if you're using it in the sun, which most, most guys are marine detailers, so they're using this product, usually not in an AC environment like this. Um, so direct sunlight can affect the working time. You can keep it working a little bit longer if you use a spray bottle and you, and you moisten the surface and just keep it a little bit wetter that way that you get a little bit more out of it. But um, other than that, it's really shines in removing sandy marks like this has like we, we did a thousand and usually most heavy cuts you have to go to 2000 to remove those scratches but level r can remove those thousand grit sandy marks um, without having to level um, up to 2000 and then hit it with the, the heavy cut compound so let's try these two these two spots with the restructure and then we'll come compare the differences. I haven't done this test before, so this is just me in here trying it as as I'm filming it. So it's this is raw, it's real, it's not set up. Um, I know a lot of you think that, you know, we I push Stark just because I sell it, but um, I use the product every day. I've used Presta, I've used Frecla, I've used every other heavy cut, and I just think this works really efficiently and, there, and there's a system in it, so it makes makes the job a lot easier. So let's get into the restructure and see what we can do. Next up, restructure. Important to keep your, your pad clean before. You can see how much more liquid this has to it, you know, as compared to level R. Um, and that's, that's why I like it in some cases, because you get, get a lot more out of it so same thing we're on level one on this flex and you're gonna see how much more working time we get with this restructure and I think you guys are gonna be surprised at how well it does actually because it's more liquidy I'm able to spread it a lot further than level R too Whereas in that other test spot, I really was only only worked with the same amount, but I wasn't able to get as much of a surface area with it. Really not bad, honestly. Because it's more liquidy, I was able to cover almost the whole panel. This level R over here, I only, I only got right here. I'm gonna move over to wet sanding. This panel is really nasty you can see the staining on this side i'm gonna try to keep it consistent with how how long we've 
we held it over on the level R panel. Wipe this down. So you can see the, the sanding marks on there. Now let's load it up. You can see how soupy it is. Let's see what she's got. See how this looks. Honestly, it's pretty close here. You can see the sanding marks where I didn't hold it quite as long, but over here, no sanding marks. And that's pretty good. I mean, obviously, micro scratching, but and then over here, almost similar results, really. This is a little bit crisper with the wet sanding. So that's restructure. Then level R only got this area because it didn't have kind of dried up and that's my that's my argument with level R sometimes um, but some similar results I mean because the restructure is more liquidy you get more play time gives you more time to kind of cut we did our test spots with level R restructure on this side you can see how much thicker level R is and how much less play time you get with it because it's thicker. That's my argument with Level R when you're using it on really, really dried out gel coat. Um, you don't get a lot of play time with it unless you keep it wet with a water bottle and you kind of you know, work the surface, especially if you're in, in dry sunlight so that you're getting a little bit more play time. But then if you get it too wet, you're kind of gumming up your pad so I like Level R. I think it does a great job at removing thousand grit scratches. Um, it gives a really nice finish, but its counterpart restructure does nearly just, it does it almost just as well. I mean, you got a lot more working time with this. You can use it on really dried out gel coat because it's got more liquid in it and get almost I mean, similar results. This panel is hard to, I mean, you can, you can, you'll look at the close ups and see. I mean, I hadn't done this test before today, and this is just an old panel. It's nothing special, you know, it's gel coat, obviously. But um, restructure with a thousand Avalon, it cut out a lot of those scratches, which I was surprised. I thought like it really wouldn't cut out a lot of those sanding marks that we created with a thousand, but it, it really did it. It did it well, actually. So I was, I was impressed with it. And then just standalone, it did better because I had more working time. I was able to take the same amount of product I'd put on the pad and carry it all the way over to where is this, I only really got this, this area, you know, and I, I probably could have moved it a little bit more, but the, the compound was drying up on me, so I wasn't able to like carry it as far. Um, and then over here, level R, I mean, it, it got rid of all the sanding scratches. So my, my takeaway from this is that have both of them and, you, and use them according to what kind of job you've got. If you've got a job where you're gonna do some wet sanding and you need to get rid of some heavy scratches, um, level R might be your go-to. If you're, on the other hand, just maybe doing a mild oxidized boat and you want a product, a compound that gives you a lot more working time, restructure might be the one for you. So I, I guess what I, my takeaway from this is both have their, per, their place and their purpose, but I see a lot of people just coming in and buying level R. And I, I, I wanted to make this video because we have more than just this heavy cut in the store. This heavy cut does just a, as good a job as, as this one. Um, so if you're you know in a pinch and we're, we're out of level R for some reason and you need, you can use restructure as a substitute. Um, and in future videos, I might do a comparison video for heavy cut compounds, but it really is subjective in some, time, some, some people's opinion, so I'm, I may not get into that, but um, I did want to shed some light on restructure because it kind of gets thrown in a corner because everybody's been all hyped up on level R. So um, if you guys got any questions about these two, you know, feel free to reach out to us, drop a comment below. Um, 
a lot of people that haven't used Stark. Uh, we have a whole lineup of products from compounds all the way down to ceramic coatings, uh, sealants, polishes. So check that out. Um, you can get all these products on our store at Marine Detail Supply tb.com um, i'm michael in the tampa bay store um, we also have another location in fort myers that's john and then another store in ohio so um, i'm specifically located in tampa and everything you guys buy from my store uh, supports me so i encourage you guys to to reach out i'm here as a resource to help you guys and if you need any question or if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me um, on our Instagram as well, I usually am, am able to get back to most of you with, and answer all your questions. Um, but thanks for watching. I'm Michael with Marine Detail Supply, Tampa Bay. See you in the next video.